Hi guys, it's Nancy, and I'm back with the Joy Flourish Doily Etch Dies by Becca Feakin. <clears throat> I did make a video showing this card, making this one. Um, I didn't post it. If you want to see that video, let me know, and I'll think about posting it. But I just think it's too flashy. Um, obviously, I did some embossing folder on the gold mirror card. And then this is a pearlescent card here. And then I use the red mirror card and the green mirror card. So there's a lot of mirror card on here. And I just keep looking at it and saying, wow, that's just way too flashy. Right? So I thought I'd make another one and do it a little more muted down in colors. So <clears throat> I'm still going to do a 5x5 five five card base, which I have ready to go. So... Um, I cut it 5 by 10, scored it at 5, so it's a 5 by 5 card base. And then I think for my base layer, I'm going to continue to use that pearl card stock. I'm not going to emboss it. I'm just going to leave that pearl card in the background, so we don't need to do anything more with that. And then I thought about cutting this out, and I'm going to use the silver mirror card and a piece of vellum in the background, and I think that will look nice. And then I have some pre-cut um, accessories here, so maybe we'll bring some of those in. Let's cut the two doily pieces here. So, oops, for the bottom doily piece, which is going to be the vellum or the backer piece, I don't need to worry about my plates. And I'm just going to put a little piece of tape on there to hold that in place. And then for the mirror card, we'll do the main doily here. And because this is mirror card, when you're running it through your die cutting machine, you want to use a smooth top plate. So I do have a brand new top plate that hasn't been cut into. If you don't have a smooth top plate, uh, maybe a piece of copy paper just to protect that foil card from any scratches that might be in your plate that could transfer during the die cutting process. And there are a lot of flourishes in this piece, so even though it cut all the way through, the flourishes are like little hooks or little tails that kind of want to hang on, so you just want to carefully poke those out. I gotta say, Spellbinders is probably one of the best companies for dyes. I have a ton of dyes from a ton of different companies. And I don't think I've ever had any issues with any Spellbinders dies. There's a lot of companies that make, you know, intricate phrases and designs. And I've never had an issue with Spellbinders, no matter what die cutting machine I'm using. Okay, so I think that's all of it. So 
now it's just a matter of assembling. And so this is obviously a little more simple than the other card, but I think this will be a little more elegant too. Yeah, I like that better already. So now the question is, do we want to put the word die joy? So I have it cut out in different colors. I kind of wanted to do the red again and do red sequins, but I think the green looks nice. And we'll just put the holly leaves on and use red sequins to accent. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. This is way more easier than when I did it the first time. I think I overcomplicated it the first time, which, you know, as card makers, we do sometimes. Okay, so let's start gluing all of this together. I think when I make holiday cards, I tend to over embellish them. So sometimes it's good to take a step back and say, less is more. I'm gluing this to the vellum first because how we're going to hide our adhesive is behind the vellum, behind the die cut piece. So I'm just gonna put a piece of stamping block on there like that. Now I could cut the joy. I have this little piece that came out That's actually a perfect fit. We could cut that out of there. I'm gonna cut the holly leaves not out of foil card, just out of regular card. I have some of the forest card left over from when I made the original card. Forest green. If you have not tried this new Spellbinders Essentials cardstock, it is so nice for die cutting, you guys, because it's nice and heavy and thick. We'll cut out a pair of those. And then I think we'll just accent with the red sequins instead of cutting out red berries. You can cut out red berries. I did cut out red berries before, but we have the nice... Um, smooth disc red sequins from Spellbinder, so we can use those. And then for the sentiment, I think I'm going to leave it as just joy and not add the to the world. I want to not overcomplicate this one like I did the last one. And I'll show you guys both the difference of the original one I made and this revised one. So now let's just assemble here. So 
So we have our five by five card. We have our pearlescent cardstock. We have our vellum. See, now I can see exactly where the adhesive needs to go behind here. We're gonna hide it behind the die cut. And I do want the word joy in the center there, so I'm gonna make sure that it goes this way. Center that, put that on there a minute. And then <clears throat> I think we'll use these green holly leaves. There are also, let me show this to you guys. So there's joy, there's the green holly leaves. These are the little berries. And then there are these little swirls and then to the world. I think we can just get away with joy. We'll do the holly leaves and some red sequins. So that way we're not overpowering the second card with all of that foil like I did on this card. So I think we'll leave it as a silver joy and then the red and the green pops will come from these guys and the sequins. And we'll save these for a future card. Here you can see the extras I cut out So you can make it as detailed or as simple as you want. it definitely has more of a cohesive look doing it this way and then I'll do my berries or my holly leaves and my berries towards the bottom there are the new Scarlet Smooth Disc Flat Back Sequins. And we'll sprinkle those in. I think that'll be the end of this. So much more simple of a design, but still elegant, still using some of that beautiful mirror card. It comes in a couple different sizes, so you have a small, medium, and a large size sequin. And you'll notice some of these I have going um, 
size uh, up and some of them I have them curved down and that's just personal preference it really doesn't matter it looks great either way I think that looks good like that and that little pop of red goes great with the silver a little bit of green so we have some traditional here without being as in your face as my first card. Not to say that I don't enjoy that card. I just think I could have calmed it down a little. All right. So this is the new Joy Flourish Doily Etch Dies designed by Becca Feakin. And again, you're going to get the... frame for the doily or the mat layer for the doily. You're going to get the very intricate doily. And this doily doesn't have to be holiday Christmas, by the way. This would look very pretty if you're doing a birthday card or anniversary card. And then we have those little uh, holly leaves. We have the two sets of berries here. We have the joy word die. We have the little swirls. And then we have the to the world um, word die. So here's what it looks like on this card. And I used an embossing folder in the background there. So I want you guys to vote now and tell me which one you like better. Do you like the gold one or do you like the white one? I already know that I like the white one better. <laughs> it's way more simple, but I think it's more elegant when it's more simple like that. So vote down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Here's a close-up of that with the pearl paper, the vellum, the silver mirror card, and the new red sequins, all from Spellbinders. Um, the vellum came out of my stash, and so did the pearl card stock. So they don't have those yet on Spellbinders, but always keep an eye out because you never know what they're going to have. Okay. All right, guys, go ahead and comment which one is your favorite. If you have any questions, put that down below. I will link everything in the description for you. And thank you guys for watching and keep on stamping. Bye.